With me on the red carpet is world-renowned photographer and environmentalist, Mr. William Medeve. Bonjour, Monsieur. How are you doing? Bonjour, Madame. Hello, Maria. How are you? I'm well. Thank you so much. So, through all your travels, um, you were able to really capture the world through your lens. And by traveling the world, you were also able to kind of take a look at what was happening through the environment. And now you have this new passion. What triggered that in you during those travels? But I would say it's a beautiful thing that's happening today in this DNA age, in this digital age. It's uh, the ability to uh, form a global community together and impact the world. There are so many uh, uh, green projects and missions that exist. It's, it's just awesome. So, you know, I think most people are like, are like me that we want to be greener. We want to incorporate, you know, products that are great for the environment in our, in our home for our families. We want to be able to travel to hotels and places that are being conscious about this. However, you know, it's very overwhelming. Like you don't know where to start or you feel like you're just, you know, this little person trying to make a difference. What do you believe the challenges are for people out there to really start being conscious and living greener? That's a great question. I would say that uh the zillion amazing projects exist today, but the problem is that they are scattered and invisible. So that is the first uh, issue in a certain way. The second point is that uh, the idea of uh, sustainability is surrounded by a huge misconception. People think that it's uh, not cost effective and it's going to, uh, they're going to pay a lot of money to, to afford it. And the, and the third point that follows that is that uh, lots of folks out there are disconnected and uh, you know, completely uh, lost it, uh, hopeless in a certain way. So they feel disconnected, they feel hopeless, so they're just not going to make the effort to go yep. through that. So when people are looking for a sustainable solution, what are they looking for? Well, I would say that people are really looking to uh, get inspired and uh, enrolled into a project. And that can only happen if there are three conditions. It must be good for their family good for the planet and good for their wallet. Yeah, I can see that, definitely. Well, so all of this passion now has turned into a project that you've created called the Earth Project. Tell me about that. Well, the Earth Project is, uh, helps you be more aware and in tune with what is happening today. And uh, that's why we are organizing, aggregating all the best sustainable solutions into a kind of uh, premium content. And uh, the second point, it's a global uh, project bank with all the best business practices and uh, sustainable solutions out there. And finally, probably the best part, it's a masterpiece tool that helps people find and participate in a project that really matters for them. Well, it really sounds like that your mission is to kind of house all these components in, under one umbrella or one website so people can engage on the level that they want to engage, whether it's to find a green product for their home or travel, you know, more green or uh, more green. So um, with that said, is that what you're trying to do? Are you trying to put everything under one spot so people can just go and say, hey, I'm looking for this and you're the person to go to? Yes, exactly. Our, our mission is to empower humanity with sustainable, simple sustainable solutions that really matter. And um, our uh, project was to create a space for Earth ambassadors to, to connect together, whether you're a student, uh, a startup, or uh, a business owner, or whether you just want to, to get involved in uh, some way. Okay, so with all this said, and I congratulate you on creating somewhere where we can go and you know be a part of, but if there's one thing that we can implement right now, like after watching this, what can we do to start making those steps? Well, I would just uh, you know step back and relax, close your eyes, and take a deep, fresh, cleansing breath, and uh, ask yourself, what what can I do for the planet? What, what does really matter for me and how can I contribute to leave a legacy I'd be proud of? And if this resonates with you, I would invite you to uh, come to the website, theearthproject.com, and uh, see how we can get involved. Fantastic. So it's theearthproject.com, yes. correct? Well, thank you so much for being here and contributing and doing what you do. We really appreciate it. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, Mary. Yeah, I appreciate that.